You may have a long-standing chronic complaint of popping and pressure and fullness in your ear. It may intermittently occur without particular reason, or you may notice that it's really exacerbated with changes in pressure, like driving down a steep hill in your car or in airplane travel. That condition that produces that is referred to as eustachian tube dysfunction. The eustachian tube is a tube that leads from the nose, the back of the nose, up to the middle ear cavity, and its purpose is pretty simple. It's there to equilibrate and ventilate the middle ear cavity. The gas inside the middle ear cavity is always being resorbed, and as it's resorbed, unless we replace it with new gas, it'll develop a negative pressure in the middle ear cavity like you feel when you're descending in an airplane. That negative pressure will retract the eardrum in and can draw fluid into the middle ear cavity. Eustachian tube dysfunction can be categorized as primary or secondary too. Primary means the tube itself is just crappy. It doesn't work very well. And that's pretty common in nine month olds and one year olds. That's the reason why we have to put so many tubes in kids like that. Most adults that are having this condition are gonna report they didn't have it until a year ago or three years ago or four years ago. So we really need to think nose because the nose itself may have structural issues, polyps, chronic sinus infection, chronic allergy. And as these issues are successfully managed, the eustachian tube will begin to function normally over time. If there's been lots of inflammation back here over a period of time, this may have become partially swollen, closed, or even developed stenosis or scar tissue. And we have cool techniques nowadays we didn't have before where we can go back inside the nose under IV sedation and introduce a small catheter and balloon into the eustachian tube. And when we expand that, it breaks down that scar tissue, which prevents the eustachian tube from opening and will allow it to function normally and equilibrate the middle ear pressure each time we swallow. So if you've had an issue where you have pressure, fullness, fluid, hearing loss, obviously getting critically evaluated to see as to the primary cause is gonna be important in resolving it. And if this has been resolved successfully and you're still having this problem, rather than the aggressive place a tube in the eardrum technique, nowadays we would be non-surgical and do balloon eustachian tube dilation.